In the Old Testament of the Bible, about 1,500 years before Jesus came to the earth, God gave his people of Israel what is called the law. They were told by God to follow this law, and the law of God revealed the sins of humanity. It showed Israel, God's chosen nation, the things that they were doing were wrong. And even though that, even those that oppose God and have a secular worldview know that something is wrong with humanity. Ask anyone that works with people and they will tell you that something is clearly wrong with people. Go ask someone that works in the food industry. I did it for many years. They will quickly tell you about the experiences they have had with people who are rude, selfish, and lack courtesy. People will throw a milkshake at a, at a fast food employee because they made it wrong. <laughs> go, go, go talk to a police officer and have them share stories of all that they have seen. And you'll quickly see the total depravity of humanity. Our basic human experience tells us that something is wrong with the world. There's this book called The New First Three Years of Life, the completely revised and updated edition of the parenting classic that is written by a secularist and says the following, talking about babies. From 15 to 16 months on, as his self-awareness becomes more substantial, something in his nature we don't fully understand will lead him to deliberately try each of these forbidden activities, specifically to see what will be allowed and what won't. We have an 18 month old in our house right now. This is so true. In other words, he will begin systematically to challenge the authority of the adult he lives with. Resistance to simple requests becomes very common at this time. So did you catch that at the beginning? The author said that there is something in his nature we don't fully understand. Secularists don't like this term, but the term to define that nature is called sin. And even though many people ignore it, God's law reveals the sin that is so plainly visible in our world.